simple class to introduce you guys about the robots. So you guys like uh, Luis and Wayne, uh, we all don't have any experience on robots, so this is like from fresh and stuff. Uh, um, Zoe had played once like from probably an hour, so you just play on the keyboard, I mean on the, on the remote control. So basically this is a robot, it's less than two kilograms, so it's constructed using these servos. Yeah, so this is a programmable servo, similar to the one you get for the remote control cars or the helicopter, but they are programmables. Uh, that means that uh, the controller can at any time know which location it is. It also knows the temperature, it also knows the, the torque, and it can set the limit and so on. Over here, press the button, freeze it, and the computer will know this exactly every single joint where they are. And then you can like play back like one move, next move, and move. So you can move it like step by step. That's right, yeah. Ah, okay. yeah. So if you want to move, you can like freeze it like that, and then press the button, freeze, next frame, like that, next frame. As many points as you want. That's right, yeah, and then so on. And it also can calculate the, the speed very accurately. So if you do it very badly, then it's like zoom very quickly, and you cannot control the timing, and it, can, it cannot work properly. And it's also very good so that it does not oscillate, you know. Sometimes when it's in the servos, like the, the resolution is very low, it will resonate right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times two. So it's 18 servos here. So 18 different joints. And it's controlled by this controller. Uh, it runs on its own program. Um, and these are like in serial. So you don't have to, like in the remote control servo, you have to have all the wires directly feed into the controller. So these are basic chains. So you just feed this one onto the next one and it would like in a serial thing. So it makes it uh, much more neat. But before like maybe five or 10 years ago, like the robot was a lot of wires all connecting to the thing and it's very messy. And this is the battery. It's like a LiPo battery. Uh, it's three cells. So you could actually put like two big ones at the feet and just buy it as well. It works just the same. And up here you have a sense, uh, some ports for the sensor. So, if, for example, you could also, there is an infrared sensor on its chest. Uh, for what we're doing today, it's not useful, but you could program it so that when you put a hand up, it will activate a sequence. Uh, you, you could also, there's a port up there where you will plug into the uh, 6D, which is a wireless device similar to this one, and it's connected to the remote control. So uh, if I turn it on now, so notice there's three lights, yes, yeah, green, blue, and red. We're interested in the red, just to activate the program inside. The other ones is for programming use only. And then you press this one, and then you see it's starting to have some light now. Okay. And then you also turn this one on. Okay. There it will stop flashing if you can see it. So it, this will turn blue if uh, it's connected properly. And uh, uh, so basically we just talked about the construction of the robots, the basic theory, and because we're mainly interested in a very one out course for you to get the ro robot to, to fighting. So we, we're now moving on to talk about uh, how to control the robot to fight. So basically you have the left side and the right side and two buttons on the top. So on the right side we have one, two, three, four, and up there we have five and six. So on my piece of paper, I have uh, all the combinations there. So for example, like uh, you have uh, one plus up, it will do an action. Okay. Okay. And but basically, uh, to just move around to the left hand side, the right hand side, left and right, and so on. Yeah. And then to turn, you do the five. And, uh, but basically, I program all these locations myself. I think it just fits, it, it, it just like, uh, it, I feel more convenient this way, but it, you can do your own programming later. Uh, okay, so, all right. So let me go through basic, the keys we have. So we have forward, which is U, backward, which is B, um, shifting right, which is going sideways like that, is right, and then left. 
If you press up and right, you could do a turn as well, walking forward and right at the same time. So that is useful when you're doing a, a marathon race, which is, I think, mission five or mission six or something. And if you want to do a stationary turn so that you can like, hit someone, you press five and then right. Okay. So, so this is basically the movement. And if you accidentally fall down like that, on a piece of paper, you see the face down get up. So basically, it's five and six and up. Okay, and then yeah, and then the other one is five and down and three. Okay, I probably need to fine tune the program because if you can't, cannot get up, then you lose the the match. All right, and then you have all these different type of fighting techniques. So just to go through the rules of the career one, uh, I think there's the the the, the Hilmar Olympic on the one paper, and then there's the international one on the other paper. I think on the first one, they changed the rule so that you cannot do this anymore. You cannot do this. Yeah, this is called side attack. Uh, traditionally, this is what they all do, right? This is the best attack because you cannot push it down. Like you can, but if you go with your wide leg, it's very hard to push it. Whereas if you push it forward, it goes down. So you basically just do that all the time. Yeah, and you always face the, 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 the opponent that way. Yeah, I saw that on the videos. Yeah. So, but they changed the rule. You're not allowed to do that. So what I've got, uh, but except for international, I think you're still allowed to. I'm not sure, so, but, uh, but I've got two types of sequence still in rock stage to prepare for such events. So press one and then up, you get a push, all right? So that will push it forward. So the, the legs will be pushing. You, we notice that the robot is turn, turning, right, towards the punch. And the leg is very wide, so that right. and it doesn't fall down, right? But it's, it, it works on this robot, but maybe on some robots, it might not work. Uh, because paying forward is very hard, because you don't have the force, and then you can also fall down yourself, if you hard enough. And then, uh, okay, on the side attack, you press one and right. This is actually a move that I, it's very effective. It basically lift the hand up, and then it'll, so for the international one, you could try to use this one, right? So this is pressing one up and right, depending on what you want to do. And now, now press number two and up. So this is like uh, my experimental move, right? Okay. So, but right now, I think it misses the, so you have to be the very accurately hit the right leg. Uh, and then if you miss, you could fall down. So just gotta be careful. I have to tune it up later. So press two and then run or left. So this basic push, yeah. So you cannot use that on the Olympic uh, competition. And then press three and then up. The thing. Okay, this is the Russell, right? So this one is uh, quite effective. Uh, Zoe was doing that, so it, it, it works, yeah. So you could basically, I'll try to drag, the, like track the people running towards me, do one of these things, and then move back or let them fall down, yeah. The and three and you. Yeah, and then three and left is it's not very effective. But if they happens to be there, and the back is so basically, falling back is harder, but falling forward is easier on some robots. So you just have to see which way they're standing and press three and then left. Yeah. Okay. And the reason I'm going to have to um, modify the arm is because uh, it hits some things, and also because it has too much claws. Mm -hmm. So if it grabs onto the other robot accidentally, it could pull itself down, and we don't want that. So I'll have to Are you that. allowed to create any kind of extension? Oh, uh, there's a limit to. Okay, the, the rules of the competition is that the, the size of the feet is is 30 percent of the of, of the total length of the legs, and the length of the arm is uh, is also like a proportion to the length of the feet. Mm -hmm. So I cannot make it really long, right? Because then you just it can't touch you. But so can you have these hooks on the sides and all that kind of you stuff? You could, yeah. yeah. But you're not allowed to shoot things out or set fire or stuff like that. <laughs> 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 yeah, and then, okay, four is for soccer and stuff. So press four and left, you can fix, yeah? All right, I have to fix it. It works maybe the... I'm telling you, like, uh, we, we're going there just to have some fun. We're not going to be able to win. 
because they have very big robots. Like you've seen the videos, yeah. The the robots like they have the the servos are like made of metal gears, and this is for AX12. And the reason it's called 12 is because the force is like 12 something kilogram per whatever. And they have the RX64, uh, RX128, which is basically 64 kilogram per whatever. So basically four or five times the, the power. And so they're very strong, so you know, you're not gonna be able to see. Even if you hit them, they're probably not gonna fall down. <laughs> there, there might be some weak ones, but so the reason, so what we're doing there is just have some fun. Yeah. Hope, hope there's some weak opponents, so you stay around there. <laughs> So which why I designed some uh, moves to just show both, you know. So you can just press five and six and one. And you can do that, yeah. <laughs> so just walk around, try to escape, you know. They come to you, you can walk around, go away, and then do this stuff, you know. And they come again, and then you, and then you, go, you walk away again, and then like uh, three, and you go, you know, just make people happy. Okay, so that's it. Um, yeah, so any questions? What happens if, if you just escape all the time, run around the Oh, the they are very fast. Oh, they are faster than, than, than you, actually. So they are very fast. So there is no hope, we just kind of... <laughs> oh, but you, you know the Japanese robot... The, the Kondo. Yeah, so but that one is also a good robot, right? But it fights very big robots. It, can, it cannot hit them down, but it's like walking backward and forward. Yeah, so it's like... Uh, you can do this and do that. You might escape the medium speed robot, yeah? Uh -huh. But if you travel like at that speed, then you're not gonna escape it, yeah? Okay. But I'm gonna make another move later, which is basically uh, to sit down, and then so you may miss the hit and can get back up. It might work. But basically, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a move like that. So when someone hits you, you go down. Mm -hmm. You cannot do that for more than three seconds, so I'm gonna do like two and a half seconds. So, oh, so how do we do it? How do you, well, uh, yeah, I haven't programmed it yet. I'll no, I mean, I mean, um, yeah, what? Well, who wins and who yes. Oh, wins okay, there's right? some rules on the paper I sent you guys, right? I think there are three points or something, right? So... Points um, are hits or falls? Oh, no, okay. If you fall down, it counts a point. No. Yeah, if someone hits you, you fall down, it counts a point. I think after three points, I have to check it out then, then you, you are... Uh, if you slip by yourself, it's called a slip. Two slip is one point. Ah, okay. Okay. And if you have to read it, if two guys hit each other and slip or something, it, Kind of, yeah, let's read the, the part of the box thing. Uh, yeah. Okay, and um, yeah, so, but anyway, besides the, the boxing, there's other things like football, there's like the curl thing which I haven't played yet. Are we going to do that? Though? Yeah, we, we're going to do that, and there's the marathon running. So, okay, uh, so now we can practice something. We, we have to, okay, practice, there's two things to practice. One is to practice the maneuvers, yeah, because you need to know the, the, the orientation. Mm -hmm. And the next thing is you practice the, the fighting, right? So we, we're just gonna try the marathon going back and forth a couple of times. And then you guys, uh, you know, get, make sure you can do it. And then make sure you can get up, you know, all these things. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to uh, do the fighting. And while we still got battery, I've got a tennis ball there, you can try to kick it, you know, okay. left and right. Yeah. So let me put the camera. All right. Uh, when we go to Korea, they are going to be using a surface which is like um, rubber plastic sheets that you find. You know the curtain you have in the shower, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be that on top of a piece of wood. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 it's different So because these ones are very smooth. Mm -hmm. So for something, smooth is good. But if you, for those, it's actually quite sticky. So if you program it incorrectly, it won't fit it properly. So you're stuck in one place, you cannot fit oh, So which way I have put some removable uh, feet there. So the size of the feet is actually the same size as the original one because I, I cannot get any bigger without you know breaking the rules. But uh, so the wood is good. Um, yeah, and if it's too smooth, I can put some tapes there later. Uh, so then you can you can take two or three different feet and depending on the surface. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just oh, yeah. yeah. And before you know, so this is a charger. So this is basically a very simple level charger. Uh, you plug it into here, and you plug it into there, and you charge, right? When it turns green, it's fully charged. A normal battery lasts for about 10 minutes, yeah, and then you go beep, 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 then you know you don't have battery, then you shut it down, and then you charge it. Okay, I've got one backup for me, so, so try to be charging in advance. Okay. And, uh, yeah. How long does it take to fully charge it? About one hour, half an hour. Half an hour. Yeah, one hour, half an hour. Yeah. I've got a speed charge. 
tighter, but uh, I don't have the plug to plug it onto the those. Yeah. yeah. So, so you guys will have one of these. And then, when you go to Korea, remember to bring uh, the plug. Yeah. It's only ten bucks, fifteen bucks. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, yeah. So, yeah, and uh, just so don't lose this. Uh, this the robot and the battery. Orientation. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the thing. You have to be good with your orientation. Yeah, learn to. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a remote control car. Yeah, yeah. So, so are you ready? Wait, wait, so we just turn. Right? Oh no. So you gotta have, have this. Hit the wall. Turn around. Go back. Turn. You go back there. Pass this, then you win. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah. One. Two, three. Go. What is this? Face down. Get up. Five, six, you. <laughs> five, six, you. Do it again. Yep. Okay. Maybe just uh, alright. Let me put the feet forward. It seems to be pulling. <laughs> That's the thing of the feet, so I can change it. Okay. Now go, go, go. Oh, you must move forward because for the uh, marathon, you have to walk forward. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. Right. Here we go. Uh, five, six, and down. Oh, it's going by itself. Oh, hit the key again. Hit the key again. Yeah. Five, six, and down, yeah? Oh, you gotta move forward. Yeah. <laughs> I win! <laughs> oh, you win! Okay. All right, okay. Okay. One, two, three, go. Too <laughs> fast. Okay, one point. Okay, now, go. Press the wrong key. Thank <laughs> you. 